two, good. And one, two, three, four, good. Back up and one, two. Think about, so let's do just a run of like 20, 21. And just think about from the very beginning, keeping your left elbow in. And begin. Swing the arms back. Yeah, and remember to bring the knees up when you jump. You've got this tendency to hold them out here like this. Bring it in a little bit from the beginning because you're going to reinforce a wide start if you're holding your, your arms pointing out here. Touch your hands together. Touch your hands together and then move them apart just a little bit. Not that much. Little, yeah, right there. Like, yeah, lined up with your shoulders. Yeah, from there, now just lower down right in front of your body with your left arm and then start. That looks... It looks more comfortable. It looks like you're using less energy. Squat, up, kick. Squat all the way down. Deep squat, up, two. Get your weight on your heels. Three, on the way down, all the way up, all the weight on your heels. Four, then on the kick, transition to the balls of your feet. Five. Before you throw the seven up, think about fixing that. Think about, think about getting your, your left hand more narrow, yeah, so that you're not reaching out to catch it. One, two, one, two. Try to keep your legs straight the whole time. Just barely touch the ground and then back up. Two, up, one, down. Two, three, four, up, two, three, four. And once you're up at the top, the transition to go back down is fast, but the movement is slow. So butt goes back before anything, then yeah, that's good. Good, good, good. And then up. And keep your butt back there, then right back down, right back down. That's too far up. You're resting at the top there. Start uh, a little bit wider on your basic pattern. And let's see this start on the sixth throw. Hold, hold, push back up. That was good. I didn't expect you to get back up. Okay. <laughs>